What is up guys, Bradman here bringing you guys some update and brand new Pokemon Sun and Moon news. A new Pokemon has been confirmed um, and actually has been released, released uh, without pretty much no backstory. We did not get anything that really was going to say that we actually got a leaked Mon or anything today. So I'm wondering if this is something that one of the employees actually did. Um, just released it without knowing. I don't know. Somebody's going to be in big trouble for releasing this early though. But um, we got a new Pokemon today, guys. So if you guys are hyped, feel free to drop a like down below. And if you are new, subscribe for more news and information like this. Um, this thing looks absolutely awesome, guys. Um, a new Poison type, Poison type, uh, Poison Fire type, Salandite. Uh, ability is Corrosion. Now this ability is anti uh, meta game. Uh, the whole new metagame for Gen 7 is going to be completely going to be shaken up in a bottle and turned around and dumped on its head. Basically, that's the metagame for you in Gen 7. Uh, first, we actually got Dazzling, which actually found out what that does now. It actually prevents the ability, or ability that prevents priority moves to actually be used on the Pokemon that actually has it. And now we actually got, um, then we got Stakeout, which actually, uh, um, doubles damage if a, uh, switching move like U-Turn or Volt Switch is actually used on your opponent, or used on you. Um, which is, again, something that's uh, very, very um, groundbreaking. And now we got Corrosion, which uh, I'll show you guys what this does. Uh, designed, by the way, it actually looks awesome. A Fire Poison type. I think it's actually the first of its kind. Uh, sound I can poison Pokemon of all types. So if you're a Poison type Pokemon, you're going to get poisoned with this ability, Corrosion. So you're going to get poisoned with this thing. Um, and if you are a Steel type, as it's about to show, um, Skarmory ain't safe. Steel types are now able to get poisoned with this ability. So again, taking the whole meta game for Gen 7 and uh, shaking it up and turning it and dumping it on its head. Um, shows a few move animations with actually uh, his Rock Ruff right here. Uh, I do like the design for Rock Ruff and the back sprite. Um, and November 18th, uh, here's actually the um, online uh, for the Pokemon website. The description: Salandite females are not only release toxic acids, but they can also emit pheromones that attract males of all species, including Pokemon and humans. Inhaling these pheromones may cause opponents to be controlled by Salandite's will. So basically, it re females of this Pokemon, Salandite, actually can re release hail, uh, pheromones and actually attracts all kinds of species, all genders of all species, including humans. So, say you're walking out in the woods, hey, I found the Salandite. Oh shit, I breathe in it. It's gases now. I'm getting controlled by it. So, this Pokemon control things, uh, which is uh, kind of scary uh, as a Pokedex entry. If this thing actually evolves, good gosh, is this thing going to be a powerhouse if this evolves? This is one of those uh, mons, um, in my opinion, that's kind of based off the Crocodile line, but it's not exactly a Crocodile. I think I'm, a lot of people are calling this thing actually the, the Gen 7 uh, Sand Dial, but. Um, in my opinion, it looks a little bit different than Sand Dial. I mean, a complete different typing. But, again, Corrosion. Very, very good ability. Uh, probably one of the best abilities so far. Poison any type. There is no immunity. So that Toxic Stall in Gen 7 is going to be out of this world with this thing. Probably one of the top Toxic Stallers. And if this thing is actually evolving into like something like Bulky, like a Gliscor 2.0, um, you can see that Toxic Stall is going to be in uh, Gen Hope. Gen 7. Hopefully they give us mons that actually prevent this and cannot be poisoned or um, something that actually counteracts this ability. So at least the mana game can be kind of counteracted and stuff like that. But um, tell me your guys' opinions on this in the comment section below as well. Um, I do think the design for this thing is very, very nice as well. Hopefully this thing does get a few evolutions. Um, probably like two evolutions and stuff like that. So um, if you guys enjoy this, feel free to drop a like down below as well. Really, really it helps me out. And if you are new, subscribe for more updates and information about Sun and Moon like this. That being said, though, I'm going to get out of here. Just want to bring you guys this update info. Peace.